Running Tempo reports on CapEx accounts puts you one step closer to getting money back from tax credits. If your work involves scientific or technical research or development, you may be eligible for getting incentives as tax credits from the government. This work is considered as capital expenditures, or CapEx. But to get these credits, you need to use time tracking software to ensure the accuracy of the hours spent on the development. That's where Tempo timesheets and accounts come in. To get this accurate data, you can create CapEx Tempo accounts and log the development hours to them. Then you can easily create a Tempo report of the time tracked to these CapEx accounts, and your finance team can use this report to apply for the R&D tax credits. Here at Lunar Industries, my team of developers is creating a mobile app called the H3 Mine app for measuring the helium-3 for our mining operations on the moon. They have logged their development time to this CapEx account, and after the app is released to customers, they and other teams log their maintenance work on it to this account for operating expenses, or OPEX. Both accounts are linked to multiple JIRA projects that are related to the work of developing and maintaining the apps. Now I want to generate a couple of reports. The first one is for both the CapEx and OPEX work done for the H3 Mine app for general financial data related to profits and losses. And the second one I want is for only the CapEx work done for development work on all the apps that Lunar Industries has created so far this year. I'll use this second report as the base for the R&D tax credit application that our finance team will send to the government at the end of this year. So let me show you how easily I can do this. First, I click Reports in the sidebar, and then click Log Time. In the Report Wizard here, I can set up exactly the report information that I want. So to do this, I first filter by Accounts, and select this account for OPEX, and this account for CAPEX. This way, I'll see only the hours that have been logged to these two accounts related to the H3 Mine app. Now I can group that filtered data per account, since I want to clearly see the time log to each account. I also want to group the logged hours per project, so I can see which issues were worked on in which JIRA project. When I click Create, I see my report for all the time logged to the issues for these two accounts. The current time period is displayed by default, but I want to see all the work that was done last month. So I just need to change the reporting period using the date picker up here. I'll click Last, and then Month. And this creates a dynamic period report where the data shown is always for the last month relative to the current date you're running the report. I click Apply. And now I can see all the hours logged for the last month to both of the accounts for the app, the CapEx one and the OpEx one. This report has too much detail right now, so from this menu up on the right, I'll switch from the Days view to the Weeks view. And now I can more easily see all the hours logged per week. I can also see the total number of hours logged in this column for each of the accounts. I want to keep this for future reference, so I click Save and change the report title to H3 Mine App CPX OPX Monthly. A note reminds me that this is a dynamic report for the last month. Dynamic reports make it easy to create templates since the data is always relative to the current date. I can simply run this report every month without having to set it up each time. I click Save Report and I'm all done. I'll go back to the Reports page and see it here in the Saved Reports section, where I can access it at any time. I want to share this report, so I'll click its tile to open it up again, and click Share up at the right. I'll enter Saul's name, who's in Lunar Industries Finance Department. The person with whom you're sharing a report needs to have the same or higher level permissions as you have so that they can see the same work log data as you do. I can close this dialog and I'm done with that first report. Now I want to see the hours logged to all of Lunar Industries CapEx accounts related to app development. 
This is actually pretty easy to do using this existing report as a base that I can modify. I'll first remove issue since we don't need that level of detail for this report. You could remove project as well so that only the accounts are shown if that's all you need for your report. But I'll keep project. Now I'll clear the filters here. And instead filter by category types and then check capitalized. Now I see that five CapEx accounts have time logged to them in this month. But I'm pretty sure that this account is capitalized but not related to app development. So to make sure I get the correct ones, I'll clear this filter and instead use the account categories filter and check development. This category is a capitalized type and it's used only for accounts that are related to app development. So I see only the hours that are for the type of work we can claim for R&D tax credits. Now I need to make sure that this app development was done only in this year because tax credits need to be applied per year. So I filter by customers, which is a field often used for specifying external clients. But I'm using this field as the year for my CapEx accounts. So I'll select 2022. Now I'm sure that there are only three CapEx accounts related to app development so far this year. The application for the R&D tax credits will include all the monthly reports for the whole year, and that will be sent out at the end of the year. So I'll run the same report for the last month, as I set up before. We run monthly reports instead of quarterly or yearly because of performance reasons when there's a lot of data to process. I want to save these changes as a separate report, so I'll open the Save menu and choose Save As. And I'll change the report to a descriptive name. 2022 App Development CPX March. And click Save Report. It's important to save this report to have final numbers for the tax credits since the government is kind of picky about stuff like that. And to make sure that no more time is logged or changed for the CapEx accounts, the timesheet period should be closed. Again, I'll share this report with Saul. And he also needs to have this report in a spreadsheet format. So up at the right, I'll click Export and select XLS Report Data, which saves the report in the Excel format. All the data from my report is in this file, including the account keys, which are important for matching the account data in our financial software. I can also see a summary of the logged hours per account, per JIRA project, and the total for the whole month. Note that we could also use Tempo's APIs to develop integrations to pull this account and log time information for the finance team to use. I'll send this spreadsheet to Saul, who takes its data and brings it into our financial software and does some accounting magic. Then at the end of the year, he'll send the data from all the monthly reports to the government with the application for the R&D tax credits. So that's how you can use the time logged to CapEx accounts in Tempo Timesheets to run reports as a base for R&D tax credit applications. You can follow along with the other videos in this series to see different ways to use Tempo accounts for your business needs.